Hello guys, how are you doing today? Hope your day is going well. For me, I have been glued to this sofa. I'm currently watching Love is Blind on episode seven now. Bloody freaking Nora, I can't get my buttocks off of this sofa. I'm being a lazy bastard to say the least, but I have got so much to do tonight and I thought I'd just bring you along because I need someone to talk to because I'm lonely out here. I've just been scrolling on my phone trying to like find something to fill my night with but I don't know why I'm doing that because I need to get up I think basically I'm home alone and I'm in a lonely mood so I keep going on my phone and I'm watching TikToks or I'm on Snapchat and then I'm not actually getting anything done and I was like Isabella come on you've got things to do very important things such as fake tanning putting some rosemary oil in my hair but I did give in and buy some rosemary oil off TikTok shop because all those videos of the hair growth. I need that in my life because I've been stressed at the moment. And look at that. I've actually got a bowl patch. So that needs to be sorted. I need to put some oil in my hair tonight. I need to fake tan. I need to glow up. I'm going to London tomorrow and I need to plan an outfit. So I just thought I'd vlog and you guys can help me with this. By the time you see this, I would have already picked an outfit. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, today's just a vloggy vlog. Uh I also need to clean the house tonight as well because oh, it's just a shithole in here again. First things first, I need you guys to help me pick an outfit for tomorrow because I don't know what I'm going to wear. I want to be comfy, but I want to look cute. Oh, I wish I vlogged yesterday because I went to London yesterday at an event and guys, I got so drunk so maybe it was a good thing that I didn't film but I was in the same room as Mabel and none of you probably know this but I'm a big Mabel fan like I love her me and my friend Izzy when we saw her at Reading we just became stands because she is so good live anyway I walked past Mabel and it took everything out of my drunk self to not be like baby I love you um but I just looked at her from afar so it goes off topic but i got my nails done today i am a gel gal now i am a gel connoisseur acrylics are for young people and now i'm a 22 year old mature woman i've got the short nails and i don't care obviously they're not as cute as acrylics i went for a really basic nail today i just got like a clear pinky color but i'm gonna have natural long nails for the first time in my life if I see look at that they look so healthy. Isn't this the cutest pillow ever? I treated myself to a pillow the other day. It's from Flying Tiger, if any of you guys are wondering. Also, look what I got sent this morning. There was no food in the house. And then the heavens above blessed me with some donut time donuts. Breakfast of King's Mate. So guys, I was very bougie after getting my nails done. I went to m and and I did my food shop there. Um, and I feel, I feel like a Tory. It, this whole day was giving Tory energy. The gel nails. The gel boring clear nails. Shopping in MS. I got I got blue corn tortilla chips. These are actually really good though. They're giving middle-aged Tory mum that is trying to watch her weight. But they actually taste delicious. They're gluten-free and vegan, but they hit the spot with a bit of hummus. 10-10. For dinner, I had a baguette and butternut squash soup. A year ago, you would never catch me sipping butternut squash. What's on earth? But I had it. 10 10. Delicious. Because it has like a coconutty aroma to it. What's the word? It's not aroma. Uh, aromatic. Aromatics of coconut. I know. Excuse the mess that is going on right now. Why have I got my American accent on? That's not very good American accent. Um. Hello. Basically, this is, oh my god, now I'm talking, I'm like, wow, that's actually my voice. Oh, no wonder. No wonder people make fun of our voices. I literally sound ridiculous. It's like I've just had an out-of-body experience and I'm actually hearing myself self talk and now I feel, ew. Anyway, this is the outfit that I have just put on that I'm thinking of wearing tomorrow. Um, basically, I got this top for when I was going to Bali and I never actually wore it in Bali. Actually, yes, I did. I wore it once, but I didn't get a photo in it. So did I really wear it? Not really. And then I've put this on top in case I get a bit chilly. And then I've got my Hollister cargos and um, some New Balance and um, a belly chain that I got from Amazon the other day. And you know what? I oddly like it. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if the trousers work. I definitely like this. Um, I don't know if I'm ruining it with the cargos, 
But then again, comfort over looking cute. And I haven't shaved my legs, so. Well, I'm gonna fake tan and I'm gonna shave my legs tonight, so technically I could wear a skirt, but then again, Ugh, I don't really like having my legs out. Okay, and now this is very basic but very cute. These are the jeans from my last vlog. You know what I got in the Urban Outfit sale? Booyaka chair. Also, since getting them, they've really loosened up. I got a 27 in the waist, right? But they have loosened so much since getting them. They've really stretched out. So I would definitely say size down. Because um, normally I'm not a 27, but for some reason... Uh, they were quite tight when I first got them, but now, boo yeah, can chill, nice and comfy. Anyway, this is the second outfit. It's a whole green look. I love green on me at the moment. I just really love the color green. And then I put a belly chain on. And guys, as I was just trying to put this back on, it broke. So that's really fun and fresh. I like this top. It's from Motel Rocks and it's mesh. Um, I need a cute bag with it and I need to know how I'm going to do my hair. But this is a backup if the first outfit is a bit too wacky. I don't know what jacket I would wear of it because I feel like if I wore my brown leather jacket, I would look like fucking Scooby Doo. What's his name? Is his name Scooby? Scooby? Shaggy. I would look like Shaggy and that's not the vibe I'm going for. Do I look like Shaggy right now? Am I giving Shaggy? Shaggy with a belly. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I just scrolled on TikTok for an hour and now I'm butt naked and I need fake tan and shave and do my hair. And I haven't planned an outfit for Saturday, but that's fine, I can do it tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> right, so I'm clothed now. So this is the rosemary oil that I got on TikTok shop. It's the natural rosemary oil called Nature Spell. Apply a small amount throughout damp or dry hair. Ooh, she's thick. It's a thick oil. I've been in London three times this week today, guys. That is very unlike me. I have like weird periods of time where I never go to London and then all of a sudden I'm going like every single day and then I think to myself, oh, why don't I live in London? I can be a London girl and I'll save money, but realistically I won't be saving money because the money that I spend on a train doesn't even equivalent to, equivalent? Is that a word? Equivalent? equivalent do you know what i like living by the sea like i feel claustrophobic in london and i know it sounds really ridiculous but when i'm in london i'm like it's just land and i don't know where i am whereas in brighton if i can see the sea i know i know where i am i know, I know i'm at the beach or if i'm like in a part of brighton and and i look and i look far and i can see the sea from afar then i know which way to go it's like i use the sea as as my knowledge of where I am. But in London, you don't have the sea. You just have land. You just like, how do you know where you are? How do you know where the end is? It's like London, there is no end until you get somewhere else. I don't bloody know. Do you get what I'm trying to say here? Also have my scalp treatment from Lush. I'm gonna put that baby on too. Oh yeah. Cause this stuff really works too. I haven't done this in ages. I haven't had a self I have not had a self-care night in so long. I think sometimes living with a boyfriend, you kind of forget to have those nights. Because I remember when I lived at home at my mum's, I used to have them like twice a week at least. And it's kind of like my way of, it's like, it feels so therapeutic to me. Uh, like I'll clean my room, get some incense on candles, then I have a spa night where it's like me dyeing my eyebrows, doing my hair, doing my nails, shaving, fake tan. Like, I don't remember the last time I fake tanned. And I used to do it quite often because it just gives me that confidence. But now I'm just like, I just, sometimes I just get in my head, I get stressed and then, I don't know, it's a, it's a whole ordeal because when I don't have a spa night and when I start stressing out, I start pulling out my hair. That's a really bad trait of me, I pull out my hair. So then, on my floor there's just hair everywhere and that's annoying me and then I start pulling my hair more because I'm stressed about the hair that's on my floor because I hate having hair everywhere it really irritates me so it's kind of like a very annoying situation for me and then instead of actually sorting out the hair on the floor I just scroll on my phone on my bed and then just everything gets dirty and that is what's happening right now like if you look at my desk just everything is so chaotic in my room like I, I at the moment I just get overwhelmed about the silliest things like planning an outfit that shouldn't be overwhelming and then I just go sit on my bed and scroll and I'm like it's like escapism isn't it while this is in my hair I'm gonna clean my room then I'm gonna shave my legs 
get this out of my hair and then we're gonna fake tan and I'm gonna show you what fake tan I use. Fresh out the sh- James is coming home, coming home. So I'm fresh out the shower, as you can see, and my eyes are so dry, the contacts need to come out. Um, you're not supposed to shower with contacts in, uh, but I'm a rebel. <laughs> These are the fake tans that I'm gonna try out today, guys. I don't know which one to use though, because they're both Bondi Sands, right? They're their new, this is not sponsored, but they're their new uh, fake tans. And I've got one called Caramel and one called Olive, uh, no, Emerald. This one's for a deep olive tone and this one is for a warm golden tone. I don't think I'm either of these. I don't know if only people who have like a warm skin color use this and then people who have an olive skin color use this. I'm not sure. So now I'm panicking and I'm like, is this gonna go really dark on me? Because this is a one hour express tan and I'm gonna sleep in it. So very risky business. This is what the color is looking like. I don't know if you can see, that's one layer. I think I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit and do two. So that's one layer, not too shabby. Film this year. <laughs> I'm not filming Brother. this. James I'm is back. Boxes, James is back. And what is he good for? The fake tan in the back. Not the bum, I mean the actual back. Get it going, boy. Get some more, please. <laughs> Thank you. I'd love my job. Uh huh. Boyfriend okay. duties, mate. Huh? You don't. You want to get paid? Oh, where's, your, where's my girlfriend duties, Hen? Huh? Where's my girlfriend duties? I make you, you food, no, I clean, I literally hoovered the bedroom today. Thank you. And I'm about to do a food shop, so, thank you. So I tell you what, it's so cool about you hoovering the floor. What? I couldn't tell. <laughs> That's so rude. How can you not tell? Because I don't give a shit about this room. It's your <laughs> room. It's not my room, I just sleep here. <laughs> Let's just get an understanding of what the room looks like. I, mean, I won't get your boxes in it. This is so masculine. I think it really My does be trendy. If I move an inch, you will see James's whole gooch. So I'm trying to stay still, and I have told him to go into the living room. But and he I doesn't told her, listen. It's my fucking house, and I just pay rent, and I'm allowed to do what I want to do. Gooch or no gooch. Do you know what I'm saying? Thank you, people. Thank you for understanding. So I'm gonna dye my eyebrows now. I got, my, I got them laminated the other day and you really couldn't tell but it's just because I have to brush them up. Oh, fuck. So that's what my eyebrow looks like when it brushes it up and then it kind of just stays like that. When I first got eyebrows laminated, I thought they stayed in one place, but they don't. It basically means that you can just move them around and then they kind of stick where you want it to stick. I'm going to use the Allure London DI, DI, DIY Brow. Um, I love this stuff. I just kind of leave it in the box. It's so crusty. Uh, but this stuff is really good. However, sometimes it does go a bit ginger. So you just get a bit of both and then you're just gonna... And all I wanna do is lay in my bed and read the rest of my book, which is Verity by Colleen Hoover. That book is sensational, guys. I cannot recommend Verity enough. It is such a thriller. It just makes you wanna read page after page after page. I'm obsessed and... There are some saucy scenes in that book, let me tell you, it's a thriller, but then all of a sudden it's like 50 shades of grey, and then I'm like, what's going on here? I've never had what they're doing. I can see you. Yeah, so what they describe in the bedroom is nothing what James does to me, because I swear to God, they're saying, all these things that I've never experienced before in my life. So yeah, it's kind of a saucy book, but it's also a thriller. Stop it, you're scaring me. James. <laughs> ah, I can see you on the floor. Stop <laughs> Stop. I was trying to say things to get a reaction out of you. Ugh. <gasps> what was that? That's a don't pick that back up and put it in the laundry room now. <laughs> That's not funny.
jump scare. While we wait for these to do their thing, I'm gonna use these pore strips that I got from Thailand. And oh my God, they do the trick because I have such bad blackheads, guys, on my nose. It's really a problem. Um, when I was in Bali, I had a facial and one lady like, she got loads out, she did a good job, but they've grown back. And before some of you go, they're bad for you. I know they are, but I love how satisfying they are. And these ones from Thailand are next level. Like they really get the pores out. Look at those flowers. They're so cute. That sounds very... What's going on? The police are here. Living in Brighton be like, water on my arm. Oh no, now the fake tan's gonna look shite. Let's try and fix it. I literally can't see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Guys, you are a blur. Like, I can't see, I can't see me, I can't see you. So I haven't got my glasses on. I guess I can put them back on now. <laughs> ah, there you are. Beautiful stuff. Guys, I always think to myself, like when I watch medieval shows or like a Viking show or Bridgerton, for example, I always think to myself, what were they doing if they had eyesight like me? Like truly, because glasses weren't invented yet. And who was the first person to invent glasses? Like there must have been such a demand for something, a, a discovery for what to do if you've got bad vision. But it's like, how did someone even make glasses? How does that, how does one just make glasses? And how do you make it tailored to a specific eyes? I actually don't get it because it's like, how are they doing research? How did, what was James trying to scare me? It's like, you know, sometimes where they test on animals, you can't test on animals for that eye, for that eyesight. Like, how do you see into the, guys. I'm getting a bit too, I'm getting about how I'm about to go in a rabbit hole, but I just find it so satisfying. I feel like I need to watch a doc documentary on how glasses were made. Oh! I'm a fucking idiot, I'm a fucking idiot. I have had this on for like half an hour. And do you know why I've had this on for half an hour? Because I discovered LXL has YouTube, so I've just been binge watching her YouTube and then fucking realised that I haven't taken off my fucking eyebrows. You know what? They actually kind of look fantastic. We panic over. They don't actually look that bad. Look at them. Uh, that's a sleigh. Look at that brow. Are you kidding? <gasps> okay, it worked out for the best. I love Alexel so much at the moment. I've actually got a weird obsession and she's in IB for at the moment and now she's in Italy and I really hope she comes to London. Not that I'm going to bump into her in London, but um, yeah, her YouTube is actually really good. She's only got like three videos, but um, I'd recommend if you've got nothing else to watch. Oh! Oh! Fuck that hurt. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of anticlimactic. Clim climactic. It got really. It got one good one, actually. Ooh, it got a few. I doubt you'll be able to see this. Hold on. Can you see that? Oh. Can you see the crusty dusty? I don't know if you can see the crusty dusty. Either way, it got a few out. For my face, I'm gonna use this uh, Saint Tropez self tan stuff because it's so much better than putting actual fake tan on your face because it always goes way too dark for me. Whereas this is like a little spritz. Guys, I'm gonna look so cute in the morning. I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. Big slay guys, it's my new anniversary for being a massive bitch. Hi everyone, welcome back to my boring channel. And I know you guys feel sorry for me, that's why you watch me. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> So this is what I look, oh, sit down. I'll do another one. Hey. I'm just trying to show them what my fake tan looks like. Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my mediocre channel. I am not a success. 
Uh, it is a sunny, shining day. There is not one cloud in the sky. And this is what my fake tan looks like. Guys, I think it looks nice. It's not It's not too brown. And you can actually see it, because sometimes when I fake tan, um, I just look just as pale. Like, as soon as I go in the shower and wash it off, it just all comes off. And um, this is what it looks like. Really natural, really cute. It actually looks like proper summer right now. I'm so excited to go out to London today. Uh, but basically, I've got a few things I need to do beforehand, such as hoover the front room. Today I'm going to a place called Swingers in London and apparently it's in Soho but there's one in Shoreditch too and it's like loads of mini games like mini golf, darts, all of that jazz and then apparently they've got some good cocktails there so that's where we're going and then we're also going somewhere else and I, I don't really know to be honest um I've just been told the train time and here I am. Let's see how much laundry we have um because it just keeps getting worse. I did like five loads at the laundromat last week and now it's all collectively. Oh yep here we go again. Have I showed you guys my iPad? I am obsessed with my iPad. This is my baby. She's pink. She's pink but it gets better than that. So I got I treated myself to an iPad Air right because I've been wanting an iPad for so long and I feel like this is healing my inner child. Um, it's this really cool thing. So look, we're on Asda, right? I click search. Biscuits. And then it types it in. What? Guys, I love it. I absolutely love it. The other day I made this lovely design on my notes pad. There's just so many fun things to do on it. Like you can proper draw. I feel like such a kid right now. But look at all these colours. Like, are you kidding me? Look how satisfying that stroke is. <gasps> Oh, it's beautiful. It actually is. I just can't wait to go. I haven't been to a cafe yet, but I can't wait to go to a cafe with my iPad and just be like, do 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 do. It's so slate and it's pink. You just can't get better than that. Guys, I'm in a rush, but I want to show you my outfit. Okay, let me just stick you there. Okay, I literally have two minutes until I need to get an Uber and leave. Uh, but this is the outfit. Look how cute it looks with my hair done. Oh shit, I need to put earrings in. And also I need to line my lips, so excuse my little thin babies going on here. But here's the rest of the makeup. Kind of looking slay, kind of looking a bit cakey. Um, I'm gonna go for this bag. I got this like years ago, it's from a pretty little thing. But I thought it kind of kind of works and I'm not gonna wear a coat because none of the jackets look good and I don't want to ruin the outfit because I really like this and this together. I think it's so cute. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put on my Chakra Bright bracelet. Uh, okay, what earrings? These? Where's Master these? Shop? I don't know. What this earrings? is an emergency. That one. Those ones, okay. No pearls. That's weird from you because you love pearls. Yeah. Around your neck. Uh. <laughs> get it? See yes, I guess. I look so pretty, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> Cheers! So guys, I fucked everyone up and I was late for the train so now we're on a different one and we have to change because my bloody Uber driver decided to take me on a tour de, tour de Brighton <laughs> in rush hour. <laughs> so I was one late and I'm normally never late. I'm, norm I'm, not, I'm normally always on time. So I was quite surprised with you. I know, that's not like me is it? Well, always proper. Uh, a pink chin. What is Abigail? I've got a Cosmo. I love it. What's that? What do you want? A Let me try to give it a sip. Oh, like that is nice. It tastes like it's got fresh basil. It tastes like a lovely cocktail. Mint, not basil. Oh, lovely. Don't really want to buy it. What's Melissa Gill? Oh, rubber card. Getting crunk. <laughs> Jojo got lip filler today and they yeah. are lip fillering. Yeah, they Whoa. won't look like this tomorrow, hopefully. Well, they might do tomorrow, but maybe in the next couple of days they should settle. 
Because if I look like this, we're going to go get them dissolved. Let's get me a teapot. Are you ready for your teapot? Are you not leaving? Huh? Are you not leaving? Are you ready for your teapot? Sorry, I've just got to do shit. Ooh. Hello vlog. So today's Sunday fun day, which means I see my little sister, who's not so little anymore, who remembers her. Guys, if you scroll down on my YouTube, you'll no. see you'll see videos of what she used to look like. I think we did, I think I did your makeup. Yeah, all my friends show me the video. Oh, really? Oh, Do I embarrass you, you Gucci Gucci? Why, she doesn't act like this one off camera. Anyway, so. <coughs> I'm into Lulu's room, which used to be my old room, but it doesn't look like my old room at all anymore because she's recently just decorated it. And this is the most Tallulah room ever. I'm just gonna show it. Hold on. <coughs> so you walk in. This is her little desk area where she does her homework. Then that's where her bed is. Look at the lovely view she's got. This reminds me of Final Destination. So I walked into her room the other day, right? And I was like, no chance am I sitting there. And look at that. But then apparently it's been proper like built in with nails and machinery so apparently it's very stable but still gives me the heebie-jeebies and she's got all these things going on her tv that i got for her birthday delicious. then a cute little mirror it really is there is something going on on every wall and then i got her this for her birthday too because we love marvel beatles because she's a cool kid got a little long board there yes, that she doesn't go on Huh? Name a Beatles song. Huh? Name a Beatles song. A Beatles song. Help. 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 Like every single song ever. I, I'm not. I mean, I can name like Bertie because I'm not fake. You're not fake. Okay. Have you ever watched Pulp Fiction? <laughs> you literally <laughs> calm me out. So I'm not allowed she to watch it. It's an eight teach. She's not allowed to watch it. Yeah, yeah. But she's got the little thing going on to look cool. And she clearly wants to go to Italy because she's got... No, I don't. I just saw it from Amazon. It's just from Amazon. This jelly cat is so cute. Look at the little frog one. I can't believe she has a um, a bean bag. Like, when I was younger, I always said to myself, I want a bean bag in the room. And I literally tried to envision a bean bag in this room, and it never happened. And now she's living my life. Now she's living my best life with a bean bag. But anyway, we're going to watch a film now. We're watching Persuasion. It's kind of like Bridgerton vibes. Very cute. Anything you want to say? Oh! 